right now september 2023 the interest rate is about like nearly seven percent and this builder who's just texting me are giving my buyers for at least 5.5 percent or something like 5.8 percent something like that What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor, TXP Realty. Today, I'm going to explain you when is the best time to buy a property or which month, the year that you need to buy a property to get some good discount price for your property, to get some cool stuff in your property, and to get a good deal in your property. Especially if you're planning to buy a new construction. As you know, I'm specializing in new construction here in Central Florida. So if it's you, make sure to watch this video from this start till the end and I'm going to give you a good example and reason why you need to buy in this or this month that I'm gonna tell you, alright? But before I start this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome, please subscribe if you haven't done so. And the most important thing, watch that like button for me and share this video to all your family and friends because you know why sharing is scary. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So number one, I'm gonna tell you the months of the year that where you need to buy your property. This is very crucial if you are planning or if you want to get some good deal in your property and if you want to get a discounted price in your property and to get some cool stuff in your property as well all right so remember this six months of the year that you need to buy so what are those six months so this is the months that you need to buy your property from september october november december january february okay those six months remember in your mind that if you want planning to buy a property those six months you need to get the property under contract on those months why simple if you're going to buy a property in those months it means you have less competition Okay, what do you mean RJ about less competition? So it means like those months are the start of the school season. Okay, so you will have less competition. It means like less buyers that who wants to buy a property. So for example, there's a family of five and they have like children who wants to move in certain place and those children that need to enroll in the school before the start of the school year. So think about this, the start of the school year here in my area, normally from September onwards every year right so they need to register their kid before september or maybe they need to move from the summer season okay so if you're gonna buy a property on the summer season or before the school starts you will have a lot of competition a lot of people thinking i need to move from this place to this place within certain time because my kids are off school they are in holiday or vacation so i have some time to move my stuff from point a to point b however if you are going to buy a property those six months i told you which is the start of school season you will have like less competition and less buyers out there so that you can negotiate on some stuff okay i will give you some good example right now as you know i'm specializing in new construction a lot of new construction builder right now they are giving good incentives about buying their property or new construction property as you know this month if you're watching this video as soon as i put this on live gonna be september 2023 as of now i have a lot of contacts to different builders like Hulte, dr horton taylor morrison etc all right a lot of those are giving me an a news saying oh those this property is for sale right now and we are giving on certain amount price if they are gonna buy this property and we're gonna get under contract within this month or the following month we will reduce this property from four hundred hundred and forty five thousand to four hundred and forty thousand something like that they will cut the price for you so that that property will get sold as i told you before that's not much demand on this certain months it's just because like people are busy doing their stuff preparing for holiday season like thanksgiving season christmas season new year season so they want to be in their house to celebrate all those occasion or holidays okay so if you are the buyer think about this you need to take advantage of those time those seasons why because as i said before they will give you more incentive you can more negotiate with the builder or if you're not going to buy a new construction you can buy a resale or a used house you can negotiate more on the seller side because as i said before you don't have much competition there's not a lot of people who wants to move around this is called in real estate is a low season okay we have like a high season which is the month march 
March, April, May, June, July, August. Okay, those six months are the high season in real estate. It means like a lot of people wants to move around because the holiday is over, and also the vacation time of kids is going to start, so they have time to move around. I hope that makes sense. So this is what you need to do if you are planning to buy a property right now. As I said before, this is September 2003. I will start looking around or first thing before I will look around if you don't have a pre-approval with a lender make sure before to look around for the property you need to get pre-approved with the lender so that you will know how much price of the property they will give you before looking around for the property that you like to buy and also what you need to do once you found a property let's say you were looking for a new construction okay and then you found the builder that you would like to build your property this is what you need to do okay don't wait to build your property from the scratch let's say the builder are giving you some option either you want to build your property from the scratch which will take from six months 12 months to build property that's your first option second option they have called like a quick move in okay or a ready move in so it means like the property that they are building it means like they already built there all you need to do is just sign the contract and after 45 days you need you can close that property so that you can move in quick or ready move in i hope that makes sense so those are your second option so for my personal experience especially for my past clients for those who buying or bought like um new construction i always tell them always go for the one who is quick move in why because number one what the builder wants for you as a buyer is to get this sale done so it means like they want to sell this property they will give you more incentive for you to buy that quick move in rather than waiting for at least six months 12 months to build that property because the longer the builder wait for that property to build and get close is the longer that they won't have a sale it means like they won't get any revenue and you know that's a long time to get the revenue from that particular new construction house to build in six months compared to the one that who is ready move in within 45 days we they can close it and then you know you can move in as, as you as a buyer as well which we can move in like a quicker rather than waiting for six months okay however make sure that you need to negotiate about the quick move in you need to find a realtor or incredible realtor who can do the negotiation on your behalf asking about the price reduction if they are really want to sell this property you can tell the sales agent or the sales representative of the builder they will keep contacting you saying like oh we have this incentive for you right now we got this price it means like no one's buying or looking that property so as you as a buyer and also if you have a good realtor you can negotiate that one to the sales representative and th that sales representative will ask the manager what you want to have in this particular property so for example i have received a text message from a particular builder or sales representative builder saying like oh we have this particular property which is the five bedroom and which is near in the pool before it was listed at like 448,000 right now we're giving 5,000 less on the price which we're gonna be like 443,000 and also you will get like 20,000 up to 20,000 in closing costs and if you are qualified for the interest rate they will give you like a certain amount of the interest rate because right now September 2023 the interest rate is about like nearly 7% and this builder who's just texting me are giving my buyers for at least 5.5% or something like 5.8% something like that which is a good deal if they are qualified for those interest rates so how cool is that one so same thing if you are planning to buy a resale or use house you need to think about like when would you like to buy a property and if you like this property and this property has something that they need to be fixed for example the air conditioning is not so good or it's very old let's say you have some missing paint on one of the room you know you can negotiate on those so that the price of the property instead of selling for for example of 400,000 you can negotiate to 380 390 bus of what you need to be fixed in the property
property. I hope that makes sense. All right. So if you have more inquiry or more question about how to negotiate in your property, I can help you by doing so. All you need to do is just inbox me, follow me on my own social, text me, call me, my cell phone number and all my contact details you will find here. Or you can just comment down below home buy so I can see how many people who watch this video until this end and also who wants to buy a property who needs my help to buy their property either you are a first-time home buyer or if you're an investor I have some few clients in the past who wants to invest here in Florida as well which I can find you a short-term rental or long-term rental properties for your portfolio all right so this is the video for today once again thank you for watching this video until this end I hope this is helpful and useful once again if you have any question feel free to contact me or reach out to me anytime i'll be happy to answer all your questions and also don't forget to subscribe if you watch this video until the end and i'll see you on my next video i'm out today peace what is going on guys this is rj bautista your local incredible realtor hold on it's itchy uh, what i'm gonna say now i forgot <laughs> Let's do it again, part two.